This video has been put together. Um, it's a follow-on from um, a series of videos that I've been doing in regards to the many decades, or at least the two decades of research I've done into the All Bar Wave. And um, this video is entitled The After Effects of the Orb Attaching to the Sun. Um, part of the secrets of the ancients and uh, once people understand what the orb bar wave is and it's still only early days I mean this has been lost for 5,000 years um, we will start to understand what the ancients were truly telling us so um, what we recently had is uh, an orb attaching to the sun. Um, the, I've put up um, a couple of YouTube videos where you can watch that. Um, so I want to I want to just talk about um, uh, what I was um, looking for after I'd seen this event. Um, we've had many orbs uh, attaching to trees and I think in the opening uh, shot there's a couple attached to the um, the branches of trees um, they use these tiny strands or strands that push out from the orb sphere uh, sometimes they use the web sometimes they'll use um, uh, convert into the into the bar effect but nobody's going to understand this language that I'm using um, healers will be using this energy as a placebo so it delivers uh, an energy and so obviously with this recent um, orb attachment to the Sun I was um, I've been waiting to see uh, what effects of the electromagnetic field of the Sun uh, would occur uh, the orb has attached to the sun and it's been blast, blasted off the sun but also there are energy exchanges the orb delivers delivers and receives energy and carries energy and information across the universe uh, it is made out of a field of energy um, and that is uh, another topic and probably would need greater research than um, that I'm capable of in my lifetime. I, you know, I spent uh, nearly a lifetime on this. Oh, it feels like it anyway. And um, I think it's up to other scientists now to take this on board, uh, as I mentioned in the uh, book. So, uh, I want to come on to um, the biologic, the concepts of uh, this orb, uh, wave, um, being the biological universe um, that the ancients believed in. I've uh, created um, other videos that, that can be looked up on, on my channel. Uh, I think, I, you know, I was first introduced to the concept of, uh, of uh, my data holding biological um, events uh, when we were, when we were working with uh, um, a biochemist and uh, she's seen some of the data that I was holding and she she talked about uh, we held data which looked like uh, viruses divided so what I've uh, done now is just to put a little video of how uh, uh, a Swiss mouse embryo fibroblast cell uh, acts so you can have a look at the comparison so at the top corner you've got a strand that fires out and you've got your strand firing out of the orb but uh, after that process of the strand firing out the the cell divides we have this pictured in rock art so the ancients uh, so the ancients saw this orb process in the sky well, you know the only other conclusion that anyone can can come to is that they had microscopes and of course there's no evidence for that um, there's evidence uh, for uh, 
ancient man seeing these events. Um, I've talked about the Hans Glacier woodcut, and I've talked about these orbs, obviously today the UFOs, but throughout time being seen. So we have a piece of rock art, uh, very similar to the orb and the strand that attached to the sun, very similar to the strand that fires out of um, fires out of the cell when it just before it's dividing. So we have a biological universe, universal process. There's a little college I put together. Uh, one, one is uh, a captured frame from that video. The other is the picture of the rock art, and the other is the webs and strands that we hold from the all bar wave theory. Uh, I've included uh, another uh, photograph from our data set. So I, I always like to put this in because these triangular UFO shapes, uh, uh, you know, we, we have these three orbs exchanging energy. What you'll notice is the holes appearing in the orb in a crescent shape, and that's important because uh, Hans Glazier records uh, certain um, semicircular events happening on the surface of the sun. So it's all a little bit, um, you know, just out of touch uh, in terms of mindsets that we've got a burning ball of hydrogen and a linear mechanistic model for the universe until we start to break those down and science in engages uh, with the all bar wave and, and its processes uh, we're really going to be uh, walking down a very ever narrowing blind alley um, another picture of the process of the webs um, I thought I'd include this just to, if there's anybody um, who's looking, um, who hasn't seen any of these data, set, uh, data that I hold, this is uh, a comparison to orbs and what is seen under the microscope. Now the the pictures from our data, you, you know, you can't really discriminate which ones are which other than the colouring. So anything that's got a grey background, that's the grey background outside of the orb, is the microscope work. And anything with a darker background is photographs cropped out of my data sets for orbs. And they are, uh, other than the grey background, they have exactly the same holes in them. And they're doing um uh, one is obviously in a closed cell unit um so i wanna uh i'll i'll uh leave that for another talk to be honest the closed cell unit or the you know this this can be an animal or a body or um but there are concepts of uh, a body held within a magnetic field. Uh, the magnetic field of the human body is one closed unit. Uh, the Earth and its magnetic field is another closed unit. Our sun has another closed unit, which creates a heliosphere. So, these are all closed units, and in these closed units, uh, these life force, creative force, exists. And so... Um, what I've done is uh, I've done a search on the ef recent um, the effects on the sun. Um, I was somewhat expecting uh, a change within the sun very shortly after the this orb, and there may be others that are delivering energy to the sun, uh, creating the sun's rebirth as such. So I was expecting uh, uh, certain things to occur within the sun. I'm, I'm laughing a little bit because it's... I've held back on doing this video uh, mainly because I don't like what I see. Um, uh, it's part of the data set where I hold 
the potential, and now this is, the, the, please note the word potential, for gas giants to divide. Um, until I see it, um, you know, and I hope I don't see it, uh, this is only just part of an idea generated from the observations of the all bar wave uh, and how that interprets into cell division and how the universe was created as well. Uh, I've talked enough about the, uh, the attachment of matter onto the orb. So I was waiting for an event. I wasn't expecting it to be too long after the event of the orb attaching to the sun. Um, I didn't know what it would be. Uh, and I still, you know, it's all, all I know is that that orb attaching to the sun and delivering its energy will have an effect. Um, you know, obviously it's, I mean, we see things as healing energies or energies that, that create germination or energies that uh, are placebos. Um, that is how the orb carries information and energy. So it's a delivery of uh, electro uh, frequencies of electromagnetism or the electrical universe. So, uh, I did a study, a search on the internet, and uh, uh, people are now talking about a polar reversal. Um, quadrupolar, uh, the, 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 solar, the solar poles, um, and now it's suggested that they are going to become quadrupolar. Polar. And um, this is not outside of my expectations uh, from the study of the Orbar wave. So the quadrupolar in, in this image is um, uh, looks to me very much like the biological universe that I've been studying, which is a division internally within the um within the sun this this is obviously crazy crazy ideas it's not really that palatable uh, for me but all i can do is present i have a duty to present what i've discovered and uh, that's a that is a duty to science you know, I'm not looking for money out of this. I'm just uh, delivering what I've observed and the potentials. Uh, if my observations are right, um, you know, I'm just waiting for a sun event after the orb has been attached to it, and we have one. Uh, they're talking about it happening this month in May. So what we've got here is a couple of control samples of um, um, cell division. So you have A, B, C, or D, E, F. And what you have is a closed unit. So you can imagine that the outside circle is the sun, uh, of which the energy field uh, divides, and uh, B being um, the stage of the sun that we're at at the moment. And C then the rebirthing of the sun, or the singularity of the sun again, once it's gone through its... Uh, quadrupolar effect and so um, that is the uh, the purpose of the video and so what I would like to do is uh, I'll show you uh, uh, the following image is um, obviously not too too similar but but uh, I just want to show you um, the difference between a biological uh, photograph from a microscope and a telescope. So those two images, one is microscope, one is telescope. Uh, just to back up what I'm saying, then these are microscope, telescope. Um, I should have really balanced the pictures out so that you could see them at the same size. Uh, the following microscope, telescope, <coughs> and uh, 
I think the top image is of uh, the Crab Nebula. And I um I talk about um many of the you know, I'm just building data into into my videos and uh I cover the um the reason why we l we left behind this creative life force um in the uh video entitled The Biological Universe, The Secrets of the Ancients. If anyone's trying to understand this uh, research, then maybe have a look at that after this video. Um, it may help the understanding. It's uh, it it is a a bit of a struggle trying to uh, you know break these paradigms. So um, the secrets of the ancients, which is generally one of um, talked about uh, come from um, you know there are so many as above so below kinds of concepts the, the kingdom of God is within um, and uh, it's uh, very simply understood is that um, the as above, so below. The phrase comes from the beginning of the ab Emerald Tablet and embraces the entire system of traditional and modern magic, which was inscribed upon the tablet in cry cryptic wording by Hermes. The significance of this phrase is believed to hold the key of all mysteries. The systems of magic are claimed to function by this formula that which is above is the same as what that is which is below the macrocosm is the microcosm the universe is the same as god god is the same as man man is the same as the cell the cell is the same as the atom the atom is the same as so on and so forth and so they knew this stuff. We are one with the creation. Um, it's quite a humbling uh, experience to have researched the old bar wave. Um, Realising that it is the primordial substance. And I am beginning to understand its... Uh, transmutations and through understanding its transmutations you can make some predictions and obviously one of those predictions was if an orb attaches to the Sun the Sun will change and we have that change uh, the article as above so below probably is worthwhile pausing and, and just read it all for yourself um, and thank you very much for listening Goodbye.